has been profoundly shaped by numerous artists whose legacies continue to resonate long after their passing. This blog explores 10 iconic rock stars, detailing their lives, careers, contributions to music and culture, and the aftermath of their deaths. Jimi Hendrix, 1942-1970 James Marshall Hendrix was born on November 27, 1942, in Seattle, Washington. He grew up in a troubled household and faced challenges from an early age. Despite these hardships, he developed a passion for music, learning to play the guitar at a young age. Hendrix's career took off in the mid-1960s when he moved to London and formed the Jimi Hendrix Experience. His innovative guitar playing and unique sound revolutionized rock music. Albums like Are You Experienced and Electric Ladyland showcased his extraordinary talent and creativity. Hendrix was known for his flamboyant performances, often playing his guitar with his teeth or behind his back. Hendrix is credited with popularizing feedback and distortion in rock music. His fusion of blues rock and psychedelia influenced countless musicians across genres. He also broke racial barriers in a predominantly white industry. Hendrix died on September 18, 1970, from asphyxia due to barbiturate intoxication. His death shocked the world and led to an outpouring of tributes from fans and fellow musicians alike. Posthumously released albums continued to showcase his unreleased material, solidifying his status as one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Janis Joplin, 1943-1970 Born on January 19, 1943, in Port Arthur, Texas, Janis Joplin was known for her powerful voice and emotive performances. She faced bullying during her youth due to her unconventional appearance, but found solace in music. Joplin rose to fame in the late 1960s as the lead singer of Big Brother and The Holding Company. Their performance at Woodstock in 1969 catapulted her into stardom. Her solo albums, I Got the Mole, Cosmic Blues, Again Mama and Pearl featured hits like Peace of My Heart and Me and Bobby McGee, Joplin's raw vocal style, paved the way for female rock artists who followed her. She became a symbol of the counterculture movement of the 1960s. Joplin died on October 4, 1970, from a heroin overdose just weeks after completing her album Pearl. Her death highlighted issues surrounding addiction in the music industry, but also sparked discussions about mental health awareness among artists. Jim Morrison, 1943-1971 James Douglas Morrison was born on December 8, 1943, in Melbourne, Florida. He showed an early interest in poetry, which later influenced his songwriting. Morrison became famous as the lead singer of The Doors after their debut album The Doors, featuring hits like Light My Fire and Riders on the Storm. That song also has a very dark and twisted backstory about a brutal murderer that we did a story on way back when our channel was new. You can find it by going to GraveyardAnts.com and clicking the True Crime link. Moving on, he known for his charismatic stage presence and poetic lyrics, Morrison pushed boundaries within rock music. Morrison's work explored themes of existentialism and rebellion against societal norms. He's often regarded as one of rock's most enigmatic figures. Morrison died on July 3, 1971, in Paris under mysterious circumstances at age 27. His death further cemented his status as a cultural icon associated with the 27 Club, a group of influential musicians who died at that age. We did a story on that one as well that you're more than welcome to check out. Freddie Mercury, 1946-1991 Born Farrakh Bulsara on September 5, 1946, in Zanzibar, now part of Tanzania, Freddie Mercury moved to England during his teenage years where he pursued art studies before turning to music. Mercury gained fame as the lead vocalist of Queen starting with her self-titled debut album in 1973 through iconic records like A Night at the Opera, which featured Bohemian Rhapsody. His theatrical performances redefined live concerts. Mercury's flamboyant persona challenged gender norms within rock music while showcasing incredible vocal range that inspired generations of singers across various genres. Mercury passed away on November 24, 1991, due to complications from AIDS, 
a diagnosis he had kept private until shortly before his death. His passing raised awareness about HIV-AIDS globally, subsequently leading to increased funding for research into treatment options. On a side note, he sadly died on the same day as fellow rocker Eric Carr, who was the drummer of KISS at the time. Kurt Cobain, 1967-1994 Kurt Donald Cobain was born on February 20, 1967, in Aberdeen, Washington. He experienced tumultuous family dynamics that influenced both his personal life choices as well as artistic expression later on. Cobain co-founded Nirvana alongside Chris Novoselic. Their second album, Nevermind, propelled them into mainstream success with hits like Smells Like Teen Spirit. Cobain's songwriting captured feelings associated with disillusionment prevalent among youth during this era, often termed grunge culture. Cobain's influence extended beyond music. He addressed issues such as mental health struggles openly through interviews which helped destigmatize conversations around oppression among young people today. On April 5, 1994, Cobain died by suicide after battling addiction issues throughout much of adulthood. His tragic end sparked discussions about mental health awareness within creative communities while leaving behind an indelible mark upon alternative rock culture. John Lennon, 1940 to 1980. John Winston Lennon was born on October 9, 1940, in Liverpool, England. He grew up amidst the struggles of post-war Britain but found solace in art and music from an early age. Lennon gained fame as a member of the Beatles, a band whose innovative approach to music transformed popular culture forever. The Beatles not only revolutionized the sound of music but also influenced fashion, lifestyle, and social attitudes during the 1960s. After the breakup of the Beatles in 1970, Lennon embarked on a successful solo career, producing timeless classics such as Imagine, which remains an enduring anthem advocating for peace and unity. Throughout his career, Lennon utilized his platform to advocate for social change, addressing pressing issues such as war protests and civil rights movements. His activism inspired generations to fight against injustice and strive for a better world. Tragically, John Lennon was shot dead outside his apartment building in New York City on December 8, 1980. He was murdered by Mark David Chapman, who had been waiting for him outside the Dakota building where Lennon lived. Chapman approached Lennon and fired five shots at close range, four of which struck him in the back and shoulder. Lennon's assassination sent shockwaves around the world, prompting memorials that celebrated his legacy while promoting love and unity. Tupac Shakur 1971-1996 Tupac Amaru Shakur was born on June 16, 1971, in East Harlem, New York City. Growing up in a challenging environment characterized by poverty and violence, Tupac's early life experiences profoundly shaped his worldview and influenced the lyrical content of his music throughout his career. Shakur emerged onto the rap scene in the early 1990s, quickly gaining recognition for his powerful storytelling abilities and emotional depth. He released several critically acclaimed albums, including the landmark double album All Eyes On Me, which featured iconic hits such as California Love. His music resonated deeply with listeners, as he candidly addressed the struggles faced by individuals in marginalized communities, reflecting their experiences and aspirations. Beyond his musical prowess, Tupac was a passionate advocate for social justice. He used his platform to address systemic racism and police brutality while empowering marginalized communities through activism and philanthropic efforts. His commitment to social change was evident not only in his lyrics, but also in his public statements and community involvement. Tragically, on September 13, 1996, Tupac succumbed to injuries sustained from a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas, Nevada. His untimely demise at the age of 25 ignited intense debates surrounding gun violence and its relationship with hip-hop culture. The circumstances of his death left an indelible mark on the music industry and sparked discussions about artistry and authenticity within the genre itself. Tupac Shocker's legacy continues to resonate today. He's remembered not only as one of the most influential figures in hip-hop history, but also as a cultural icon who challenged societal norms and inspired generations of artists and activists alike. His work remains relevant as it addresses ongoing issues of inequality and injustice. David Bowie, 1947 to 2016. David Robert Jones was born on January 8, 1947, in Brixton, London, England. From an early age, he exhibited artistic inclinations 
exploring various forms of expression including painting and acting before fully committing himself to musical endeavors. Growing up in a working-class family, Bowie faced challenges that shaped his artistic vision. His interest in music was sparked by the diverse sounds of the 1950s and 1960s rock and roll era, as well as the influence of artists like Little Richard and Elvis Presley. Bowie's career spanned several decades and was characterized by constant reinvention and stylistic experimentation. He emerged on the music scene in the late 1960s with his self-titled debut album, but gained significant recognition with the release of The Man Who Sold the World in 1970. His creation of iconic characters such as Ziggy Stardust and the Thin White Duke not only showcased his theatrical flair, but also influenced countless artists across genres. Throughout his career, Bowie released numerous groundbreaking albums that pushed the boundaries of conventionality within the pop rock landscape. Notable works include Heroes, Let's Dance, Aladdin Sane, and Diamond Dogs. Each album reflected different phases of his life and artistic evolution, showcasing his versatility and innovation. Bowie's ability to blend various musical styles, from glam rock to soul, set him apart as a true pioneer in the industry. Beyond his musical contributions, Bowie challenged societal norms regarding gender identity and sexuality. He was one of the first major artists to openly embrace fluidity and gender expression during a time when such topics were often taboo. His persona encouraged acceptance and diversity within the entertainment industry, paving the way for future generations of artists to embrace their individuality and express themselves freely without fear of judgment or ridicule. David Bowie passed away on January 10, 2016, just two days after his 69th birthday. His death came as a shock to fans worldwide. He had been privately battling liver cancer for 18 months prior to his passing. Bowie's final album, Black Star, was released on January 8, 2016, the same day as his birthday, and is often interpreted as a poignant farewell filled with themes of mortality and legacy. His death marked the end of an era for many fans who had grown up listening to his music. However, Bowie's influence continues to resonate through contemporary music and culture. He remains an enduring symbol of creativity, individuality, and resilience. Before we go any further, let's take a moment to check out our merch shop. There, we have all kinds of fun designs of our GraveyardDance.com merchandise ranging from t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, coffee, and cocoa mugs, and all kinds of other neat stuff. Most are double-sided with all kinds of cool designs, so yeah, um, check them out. Now, moving on. Amy Winehouse, 1983 to 2011. Amy Jade Winehouse was born on September 14, 1983, in Enfield, London, England. From a young age, she exhibited remarkable musical talent that would later define her career. Influenced by jazz and soul genres, Winehouse developed a distinctive sound characterized by powerful vocals and poignant lyrics. Her music often reflected her personal experiences, including the complexities of relationships and the struggles she faced with addiction throughout her life journey. Winehouse achieved international acclaim following the release of her sophomore album, Back to Black, which featured chart-topping singles such as Rehab and Back to Black. This album showcased a unique blend of retro styles infused with contemporary influences, earning her critical praise and multiple Grammy Awards. Her success solidified her place in the history of modern pop culture and established her as an iconic figure in the music industry. Through her candid lyricism and vulnerability, Winehouse addressed significant topics such as mental health and substance abuse. She brought attention to the stigma surrounding addiction, raising awareness about the importance of seeking help and supporting loved ones who may be struggling with similar issues. On July 23, 2011, Amy Winehouse succumbed to alcohol poisoning at the age of just 27 years old. Her untimely death left a profound impact on the contemporary music scene and prompted a renewed focus on addressing addiction recovery resources available to those affected by similar circumstances. Her legacy continues to resonate with fans and advocates for mental health awareness today. Chester Bennington, 1976 to 2017. Chester Charles Bennington was born March 20, 1976 in Phoenix, Arizona. He experienced a very turbulent childhood marked by abuse and neglect, leading him turn towards an art form expressing emotions creatively through songwriting performance. Bennington rose to prominence fronting Linkin Park, whose fusion of new metal and alternative rock resonated deeply audiences worldwide, especially during the early 2000s. 
Releases such hybrid theory Meteora produced numerous hit singles including In the End, Numb, Somewhere I Belong. Bennington used his platform to raise awareness of mental health issues, openly discussing his own struggles, depression and anxiety, encouraging fans to seek help and support when needed, fostering a sense of community amongst listeners feeling isolated and alone facing similar challenges. On July 20, 2017, Chester tragically took his own life, ultimately succumbing to the pressures of fame and the expectations placed upon him. This highlights the urgent need to prioritize mental wellness within the entertainment industry and society as a whole, ensuring that resources are accessible to individuals who need assistance in navigating difficult times. These 10 artists not only left a huge mark on music, but also contributed significantly toward cultural conversations surrounding mental health advocacy, social justice, equality, representation, diversity, acceptance, individuality, creativity, freedom, expression, ultimately shaping future generations, aspiring pursue passions despite adversities encountered a long way. They are all sorely missed among not only their family and friends, but the fans who love them all around the world. We hope you enjoyed today's story. Check out our website where you can find stories like this and so much more. We do a little of everything ranging from UFOs and aliens to creepy fiction and true stories of dark history and even true crime, both old and new, as well as a lot of true ghost stories throughout history. If it's creepy, spooky, or odd in any way, we probably either have covered it or will at some point, and it's all right there on our site, GraveyardDance.com once there. Please consider scrolling down to the bottom of the page and hitting that social media bar and following us where you're free to share our content. That's about it, I think. Till next week, thanks for watching.